Let's start with the Nuggets. Team. Okay. Team that's winning. I, I look at this Denver Nuggets team. I know it's early, Matt and Sam, but still trying to figure out, even with Murray coming back, even with Michael Porter Jr. coming back, I just look at your, if he comes back, um, your three best players. I love all of them on offense. I'm not in love with those guys defensively. Yeah, right. So, and then you have to play them, and I know you can sub and all that, Sam, and you've been in that chair. How, how do you get around maybe, and, and they are a team that's like, they're one piece away. Kind Your scheme. three best players are not great defenders. They've been surprisingly good defensively this season so far. Number two defensive rating right now. But your point is well taken. Jokic is not a great defender. Michael Porter, Porter's not a good but defender. Murray's not bad. Not a, Porter's a bad defender. And, 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 and Murray's average. Okay. But ask okay. yourself this. They're second in defensive rating, to your point. Yeah. But who are two guys out? Right. Two of the guys that are not really good defenders. And then at the point guard position, where if you got a guy that can guard and stop the ball, control the ball, that's a plus. And then Michael Porter Jr., okay, a guy that rebounds and blocks shots for you on the back end. So Michael Porter Jr. has always struggled defensively, and he and Jamal Murray. So that's the thing. The question is, how do you maintain this defensive efficiency when those two guys come back and start right. playing? That's well, going to be coach. the question. Well, <laughs> what I'm going to do is if we're winning and we bring those guys back, I'm going to show them the numbers. And if there's slippage, I already know where the slippage is coming from. And you have to remind those guys right. that we were at a certain level without you guys. When we come back, we expect to maintain or get better because, in theory, you guys are better because one guy just signed a max deal and the other guy signed one a couple years ago. So, in theory, you should be better, especially... You should be better defensively? Yeah, because those guys have sat there. Mm -hmm. They've been out. They've watched this team, how it functions, how it flows, how they play defense, right? The coaches finally got through to them. So now you can't come back and all of a sudden the defense starts taking a nose dive because you're going to stick out like a sore thumb. So this can be a great thing for Denver, the fact that they're doing so well defensively without those two starters. Mm -hmm. So when those guys come back, it's going to be pressure on them from the within, from their teammates, to continue that. And not to pick on those guys, but there no. are some physical limitations that are going to, you know, keep them at yeah, a certain level yeah. defensively. As a coach... I push I, back on that for this reason. Well, let me finish. Okay. So then you can push back. All right. Uh, so how do you coach around? Like, you know, Jokic is never going to be a great guy out on a switch, on a, on a pick and roll. Porter's not great laterally, doesn't have a great base in terms of strength. You've got those okay. physical tools to work with. Do they limit them offensively? No. Okay. I had lunch with John Wooden, the late great, before he passed away. And he looked me in the eye, and I asked him that same question. Coach, how can a guy be so great offensively and mm -hmm. so terrible defensively? He said, Coach. The same attributes it takes to be great on one end mm -hmm. are the same attributes it takes to be great on the other end. So for your point with Joker, with the Joker, he uses his brain, his intellect, right, mm -hmm. to play offense. He's doing the same thing now defensively. He's up. He's retrieved. Look, man, I tell you my guys this all the time. I played and I coached Ross Jordan Sterovich. Mm -hmm. He played at the same speed from his rookie year <laughs> to his last year. Yep. And we brought him up on screen and rolls. And I remember what Flip said to him when he said, Coach, I'm so I can't do this. Flip said, you want to play? Figure it out. <laughs> if you want to play, it's yep. amazing what guys do. So, again, Mike Malone got this team without two starters, second defensively. And I, and I yep. take my hat off to him, what he's been doing. I mean, with Murray out, Porter in and out. Um, the roster is just kind of turned over. So, to the men be 7 and 4 and number 2 defensive rating, he's done a fantastic job. And Jokic has gotten better defensively. Yes, yeah, because he's gotten Not a great shape. defender. He's gotten better shape. Better shape. But with the new rules, he goes up vertical, he's big, yep. he takes up space, mm -hmm. and then he lets you bring the contact to him. And most centers today, they're not proficient. They're, most centers today are better shooting a jump shot than posting up in the post, other than a guy like Joel Embiid. 